Hello everyone, my name is Omaria and I am honored to be the host of our first virtual Class of 2020 Senior Award tonight. Tonight we will honor the Class of 2020 both individually and collectively through awards and scholarship announcements. We recognize the outstanding achievement and hard work these students have put forth day in and day out. Their drive, commitment, determination, and perseverance shines through and will lead them further to success in the future. We will be acknowledging students individually for their achievement in one or more departments. Each student was handpicked by the head of their respective department and outlines the student's excelled ability and performance in the area of interest. However, we will also be highlighting the senior group at Gila as a whole and their growth that they have presented throughout their four year journey. The class of 2020 is an exceptional group of individuals who have developed their skills for the future and learned to rise above when faced with challenges. Both groups and individuals will be praised tonight for their successes, but as a class, we stand strong and soar together. It is important for them to remember how they got to this point. Our teachers have helped them every step of the way, giving them confidence and support. Tonight, let's appreciate both their personal achievements and all the hard work that was put in both by teachers and students alike. And with that, I'd like to introduce Ms. Greenwood for the Digital Arts Award. Thank you, Maria. I'm Ms. Greenwood and I'll be presenting the Art Awards. In Digital Art, Daniela Chada has consistently surprised me throughout the year with her photography. Her understanding of technique and expression go far beyond what you would expect to see at the high school level. In studio art, Olivia Holcomb is someone who is not afraid to push herself outside of her comfort zone. She took risks often and chose projects that challenged her technical ability and sometimes her patience. Both of these students had artwork that was featured in art shows both regionally and locally to represent Gila. Their attention to detail and their determination to take on challenges is what makes me confident they will both succeed at whatever path they choose in life. I would now like to introduce Mr. Hamilton to present the Music Awards. Thank you, Mrs. Greenwood. I now have the pleasure of announcing three seniors for Outstanding Awards in Music. The first is for band. The Outstanding Senior for band this year goes to Michaela Eldridge. Michaela is a leader in our classroom. She gets the group going for rehearsal. She is in charge of tuning. I know if there is ever a substitute that I can still carry on a good rehearsal because Michaela will be there. Michaela wants to play her best and she demands that everyone else does too. She's always exploring new and different instruments and it really is, is excited about playing music. Congratulations, Michaela. The award for choir this year goes to Cheyenne Hutchins. Go Cougs! Cheyenne is an active student. She has taken advantage of all the opportunities that she has had in, in high school. She is a leader in choir. Music moves Cheyenne. You can tell that just by watching her sing. And if you are not sure, just ask her about her experience singing at the grotto. Cheyenne is always willing to change for the better, and she takes others along with her. I'm excited about her future in choir, connecting with new friends in college. Congratulations, Cheyenne. The Orchestra Award this year goes to Sophia Liu. Sophia is a model student. I would take a classroom full of Sophias, perhaps a little scary, but good in a good way. Sophia never settles for good enough. She always strives for perfection. She is a leader not only in her section, but for the whole orchestra. She is always exploring new things in music, showing us videos, bringing in new instruments, and of course, knowing the whole background of those. Congratulations, Sophia. And now, to present the awards for Outstanding Senior in Physical Education, Mrs. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. Kayla McDonald is an amazing student athlete. 
She is a dedicated student who believes that academics comes first through athletics. She is a natural born leader who sets a strong example through effort and intensity in the classroom, as well as on the track and cross country fields. She goes above and beyond the average academic standard for my classes, and her effort makes it easy for me to see nothing but a bright and successful future for this oppressive student, athlete, and young woman. Congratulations, Kaylee McDonald, for receiving the 2020 Physical Education Senior Award. I truly appreciate you and will miss you greatly. I would like to now introduce Mr. Ty Lewis to present the ASL Award. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. Hi, my name is Ty and my last name is Lewis and I teach ASL here at Gila High School. It is my pleasure tonight to present the award for ASL. The student that I selected themselves has been involved in ASL for four years, but I've only had them for the past three. The student that I selected also has shown me great dedication for the deaf community and wants to become an interpreter in the future. The student that I selected also has been involved with numerous deaf events and has gone to different coffee nights, chats, and also competed in our So You Think You Can Sign competition, which is our Clark County Regional Competition for ASL students. It is my honor and my privilege to present the award to Presley Lublin. Congratulations. I know that you will have an amazing time at Western Oregon University. Now to present the award for Spanish, Mrs. Cuellar. The recipient of the 2020 Gila Spanish Award goes to a very deserving individual who consistently shows her love for the Spanish language and her desire to improve her language skills. It was very difficult to choose a recipient for this award, as there are several seniors that study Spanish who deserve recognition for their achievements. But this particular individual has challenged herself by taking Spanish 1 in 8th grade, Spanish 2 as a freshman, Spanish 3 as a sophomore, Spanish 4 as a junior, and AP Spanish this year as a senior. She shows her love for the language by engaging herself outside the classroom, by holding the position of president of the Spanish club by supporting her peers with resources to help them improve their Spanish language skills, presenting new ideas for projects, um, ways to study and engage with the language, and she provides genuine feedback to her classmates. Also, I cannot overlook her engagement in online studies and her perfect virtual attendance during this time of school closure. The 2020 Gila Spanish Award goes to Cassandra Maica, mejor conocida como Reina en la clase de español. Reina, muchas gracias por todos tus esfuerzos, tu energía positiva y tus sonrisas. Enhorabuena, te voy a echar un montón de menos y te deseo lo mejor para el futuro. This year's recipient of the Leadership Award is a student who made an impression from day one. While many struggle to find their voice and to stay true to who they are, our recipient has consistently shown his peers a different way. Jacob Juris has excelled in community organizing, event planning, and ASB responsibilities. But he has also demonstrated deeper values among these accomplishments. Jacob is a kind and true friend. Jacob is honest and willing to be vulnerable when mistakes are made. Jacob shows genuine interest in the well-being of his peers, teachers, and community members. He does all of these things while showcasing his sharp wit and quick humor. Congratulations, Jacob Juris. Gila is better because of your leadership, and you will surely influence your future academic and work environments in the same manner. Thank you. I now want to introduce myself again and Miss Riley to give the English Award. This year's recipient has showed unparalleled growth in many aspects of their life, but one thing has stayed consistent, their ability to analyze text and produce college-level writing. 
There's no doubt in my mind that Ellis Donahue will excel in college and in their future career using this uniquely prosaic and analytical communication. If the pen is mightier than the sword, and we English teachers would say that it is, Ellis is unstoppable. We will miss you dearly next year, Ellis, and we have been extremely privileged to be your teachers. It has been an honor to work with Ellis over their time at Gila. I had them first in sophomore English class where I remember their hesitation to speak in front of class at, for any project. In their junior year, Ellis was inducted into National Honor Society and then I didn't have them in class again until senior year where the growth and confidence of this young person was overwhelming to see. Ellis is an amazing and gifted writer in creative writing and chose in theater to publicly perform a five minute monologue among other pieces alone on stage to an audience flawlessly. I know this is just the beginning for this extraordinary young person. We would now like to introduce Miss Earl to present the Medsci Award. Thank you, Ms. Doyle. I am honored to present this year's Medical Science Award with an emphasis in sports medicine to Kaylin Sad. Kaylin has time and time again impressed me with her hard work and determination in the field of medicine. Her persistent determination to always do her best and her willingness to help others plays a vital role in why she stood out and received this award. It has been my pleasure to work with Kaylin not only in the classroom, but on the soccer field as a student aide where she has grown and shown eagerness to learn, compassion for others, and the ability to think on her feet in a high pressure situation. I have also enjoyed watching her grow in confidence and talking with her about her accomplishments that have led her to scholarships and college acceptances. I know that Kaylin will continue to strive for greatness in her future endeavors, and I'm so excited to see just how far she can go in the field of medicine. From the bottom of my heart, Kaylin, congratulations. And here's Mr. Hansen. Thank you, Ms. Earl. My name is Mr. Hansen, and on behalf of Mr. Baker, Mr. Jenkins, and Mr. Stevens, I am here to present the Departmental Award for Mathematics. Over the years, the teachers in our department have had spirited discussions as the traits a student should have demonstrated to earn this singular award from our department. Should it be a student who achieves excellence at the most difficult to math courses? Or maybe a student whose effort is off the charts and perseveres when faced with the greatest challenges? Or should it be the student most instrumental in building a culture in the math classrooms where students demonstratively care for each other and make it their priority to help each other out. This year's award winner has checked all of those boxes. She has been successful in the most difficult coursework Gila has to offer. She works tirelessly on her education and she is amongst the best Henry Alex High School has ever seen in terms of building a fun and caring and hardworking culture in the classroom. It is an honor for me and my math department colleagues to present the 2020 Henry Delax High School Mathematical Department Award to Cassie Mika. I've had the distinct joy to have had Cassie as a student in my class for the last three years. I cannot speak highly enough about Cassie as a student of mathematics, and I would say even better things about her as a human being. Congratulations, Cassie, on your well-deserved distinction. And up next is the Social Studies Award presented by Mr. Stickler. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. So I'm doing the Social Studies Award, the Social Studies Department Award. The student that we're giving this to tonight has been a student that I've personally known for the last four years. She has been um, in my Helix, in my U.S. History, my AP Gov, and has been my TA. Um, been a, it's been a privilege to be her teacher the last four years. Uh, one of the things that makes this particular student great is just her sense of humor. But one of the things that I've really enjoyed is in class seeing her wrestle with complex historical issues and asking really good questions um, and looking at things from uh, lots of different points of view to really try to get in and understand an issue when we've wrestled or talked about hard things. And so it's my privilege tonight to give the Social Studies Department Award to Lily Charrington. Um, I really wish this was all in person, so I give you a big hug. Um, 
Congratulations. Woo! Now off to Miss Ridgeway to do the general science. Thank you, Mr. Stickler. The General Science Award goes to Sophia Liu, an outstanding student. Her love for learning, her curiosity, and her enthusiasm in her work makes a student an easy choice. She is willing to go above and beyond in her activities, including Science Olympiad, Knowledge Bowl, Volunteer Work, and Clark College classes. She is continually searching, questioning, and studying to find answers. She truly thinks like a scientist and will go on to do great things in science. Congratulations to Sophia Liu for receiving the 2020 Science Award. And now it gives me great pleasure to present the Public Health Award to Holly Schmidt. This was a tough decision we have really quite a few outstanding students in the public health field. However, Holly is one of the most creative students I've ever encountered. And public health requires a person to be creative and be able to communicate with the public. Holly has excellent speaking skills. She is organized, meticulous, and will be a great asset to any program that she goes into. She is a pleasure to have in class and will excel in her career. Congratulations, Holly, on receiving the Public Health Career Award. And I would like to now introduce Mr. Gunter. Hi, thanks for watching this. My name is Sean Gunter, and I teach biomedical engineering at HeLa. This year, I had a tough choice to make when I was awarding the Senior Award. Um, for a biomedical engineering student, but I decided to award it to Seth Woolard. Uh, Seth is someone that's brought a lot of his own personal passions and unique perspectives into the classroom, and it's been really cool to work with him and to, to see him approach different problems and different projects that we do. Uh, beyond that, Seth's put a lot of time outside of the class into the biomed program. He's, he's come into my classroom a lot to check on stuff. He's helped out with a lot of the 8th and ninth grade visits and stuff like that. Um, so it's been really cool to work with them. If you're watching this out there, again, thank you. And at this point, I guess I'd like you to give a little thought and a little thank you to Seth, just like me. Thank you, Mr. Gundert. This year's Biotechnology Pathway Award is awarded to Anastasia Kishirna. Anastasia has consistently impressed me with her depth of understanding, commitment to learning, and contributions to the class. She has been a leader within the classroom. She is always willing to help other students troubleshoot experiments and analyze data. She also seeks out challenges. She participated in a very competitive internship program in biotechnology last summer and was able to share her expertise with fellow students this year. She is also always willing to speak about what we do in class to a variety of audiences, and she always spoke very intelligently. Finally, Anastasia has the attributes of a scientist. Attention to detail, ability to troubleshoot, curiosity, and she always puts in her best effort. I am grateful to have had the opportunity to work with Anastasia. Regardless of the path she pursues, I have no doubt that she will be a success. I now would like to introduce Mrs. Myers to present the Nursing Award. Thank you, Mrs. Labard. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, there is no doubt that the nurses in our community are among the healthcare professionals considered our frontline heroes. Their selfless acts of caring for others even at the expense of compromising their own health needs, demonstrate their commitment to their profession and the health and well-being of others. While the recipient of the Nursing and Patient Care Services Award for 2020 isn't standing on the front lines yet, she demonstrated her commitment to helping others in a number of ways. On occasions, there would be students in the skills lab who didn't have a partner to check off on a skill for the day. 
This individual would recognize that need and volunteer to be their patient or their partner in the lab. Another example of her professionalism and enthusiasm for nursing was her willingness to volunteer during open house and student pathway events. She would greet parents and students, answer the questions they had about the nursing and patient care pathway, and demonstrate skills on high fidelity mannequins. Lastly, she shared her knowledge about diabetes in a high quality video presentation that captured the attention of her peers, her instructors, and the Gila community. Haley Tulp is the recipient of this year's nursing award. She exhibits many of the characteristics that make a great nurse already. And I know that the nursing profession is going to be quite lucky to have her in a few years. Congratulations, Haley. Wish I could be there to give you a hug in person, but this will have to do for now. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Amy Hauger, who is here to present the award for pharmacy. Thank you, Mrs. Myers. Professional communication skills, empathy, and kindness are valuable attributes for people in the pharmacy profession. One student in particular has consistently demonstrated the values of professionalism and communication during her two years as a pharmacy student. The Pharmacy Pathway Award is going to Paula Tarasas. Poppy has been an extraordinary ambassador to the pharmacy program. She has kindly hosted nearly every event and greeted our distinguished guests in the pharmacy classroom. She has an incredible ability to make others feel welcome. She generously answers questions and demonstrates the skills that she's learned in our classroom. Poppy is one of the most encouraging people I know. Poppy always comes to class with a positive attitude and puts her best foot forward. She has a keen awareness of those around her and she sincerely cares about her friends and her colleagues. Poppy expresses appreciation to others, which has meant the world to me. We all benefit from Poppy's smile, her laughter, and her spirit of inclusion. Poppy, you have been a bright spot in the classroom. I have enjoyed listening to you and your classmates share your stories. You've touched me with your kindness and your generosity. I sincerely appreciate every time you showed up to offer your help and your friendship. Congratulations to all of our department winners. I would now like to introduce our counselor, Mrs. Hennessy, to recognize several groups of distinction. Thank you, Dr. Hauger. I'd like to first start by giving a heartfelt shout out to each member of the class of 2020. You have endured something that no other class has coming before you, basically losing your, the second semester of your senior year and all the memories and experiences that come with it. But you have risen above and we're so proud of you and we'll miss you. Back to business. I am honored to present the top 10% graduates. These are students whose GPA has landed them in the top 10% of their class. Congratulations to Lillian Charrington, Dylan Clevenger, Hannah Cox, Ellis Donahue, Cassidy Ekman, Vanessa Kochik, Cassandra Micah, Kelly Wynn, Ilya Panesevich, Abraham Pasillas Flores, Isabella Privatera, Kyle Sargent, Gwendolyn Schaefer, Calista Toto Alapui. Congratulations. One student in that group earned a perfect 4.0. Congratulations and well done, Cassandra Micah. The following students are students who are graduating with honors, which is achieving a 3.5 GPA or higher. Congratulations to Jesse Adams, Alyssa Angner, Lillian Charrington, Laura Cherenyshenko, Dylan Clevenger, Nicole Cosme, Hannah Cox, John Doe, Ellis Donahue, Cassidy Ekman, Tiger Enderlin, Jonathan Phillip, Maxim Gershon, Madeline Hofer, Olivia Holcomb, 
Cheyenne Hutchins, Anastasia Kisherna, Vanessa Kachip, Avery Klein, Elizabeth Klein, Melissa Klug, Julian Lehman, Chia Yu Sophia Liu, Presley Lublin, Logan Marr, Cassandra Micah, Ruman Monda, Kyle Nelson Rainey, Kelly Wynn, Ilya Panesevich, Abraham Pasillas Flores, Annika Perry, Hannah Pham, Trang Pham, Lily P Primachenko, Isabella Privatera, Kennedy Ridgeway, Kaylin Sad, Courtney Sandercock, Kyle Sargent, Zarissa Seal, Gwendolyn Schaefer, Aram Simkin, Tabitha Slack, Cheyenne Smithreath, Anna Soloyevya, Trinity Tillett, Calista Toto Alapui, Haley Tulp, Neely Vasquez Vasquez, Marissa Vasquez Lopez, Deanna Villanueva, and Kaylee Walker. Congratulations. It is also my great honor to announce our National Honor Society of, uh, seniors. They are Abraham Pasillas Flores, Cheyenne Hutchins, Ellis Donahue, Hannah Cox, Kelly Wynn, Kyle Sargent, Neely Vasquez Vasquez, Nicole Cosme, Trinity Tillett, Sophia Liu, Zarissa Seal, Dylan Clevenger, John Doe, Anastasia Kasherna, Calista Toto Alapui, and Deanna Villanueva. I'd also like to announce our AP scholars. Advanced placement scholars are awarded to students who score a three or higher on at least three AP exams. Congratulations to Lillian Charrington, Hannah Cox, Anastasia Kasherna, Elena Kawada, Cassandra Micah, and Haley Tulp. I would also like to congratulate our AP scholars with honors. These are students who have averaged a minimum of a 3.25 on the AP exams they've taken and a score of three or more on at least four of these exams. So 3.25 and at least four exams. Uh, Sophia Liu, Hannah Pham, and Gwendolyn Schaefer, congratulations. And we have one AP Scholar with distinction, which is awarded to students who average a minimum of 3.5 on their AP exams and have taken at least five exams. Congratulations, Cassidy Ekman. Well done. We also have many students we'd like to honor for earning a scholarship. And while um, I wanna congratulate these kids, I also know that there may be some of you who earned a scholarship that we haven't heard from yet. So apologies if we've left you out because we don't know. Zarissa Seal, Courtney Sandercock, Isabella Privatera, Hannah Cox, Presley Leblin, Tabitha Slack, Daniela Chides. Sophia Liu, Chantal Bash, Holly Schmitz, Nicole Cosme, Kaylee McDonald, Emily Beaumont, Kelly Wynn, and Melissa Klub. Congratulations to all of you. Hi, Gila, it's Ms. Cervantes. I am here to announce the students who are receiving their AA degrees at the same time that they are receiving their high school diplomas. These students worked really hard through the Running Start program at Clark College in order to do this, so please help me congratulate them. Charity Carruthers, Nicole Cosme, Jonathan Philippe, Vanessa Kashik, Sophia Liu, Kelly Wen, Ilya Panasevich, Abraham Pasillas Flores, Hannah Pham, Alex Rowley, Isabella Kachenko, and Kalista Toto. 
Thank you and congratulations. We're super proud of you and look forward to what you're going to contribute to our community in the future. Thanks. Now, I'd like to introduce all of our students who are choosing to join the military. First, I'd like to congratulate Dakota Dunn for joining the Navy, Sophia Liu, Navy ROTC, and last but not least, Turner Bate for joining the Marines. Thanks to all of our students who are choosing to serve our country. Now, I'd like to take you back to Amaria. Thanks. Thanks, Ms. Cervantes. We will now recognize the heart of our Associated Student Body Organization. The Executive Council, consisting of five seniors who have added a great deal of stress and responsibility to their lives in order to ensure that their classmates had a wonderful experience this year. The jobs of President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Public Relations Officer are not glamorous ones and are piled of paperwork, meetings, and strategizing. But we are so thankful for their efforts to make this school a community. Now I would like to introduce our ASB advisor and leadership teacher, Ms. Doyle. Thank you, Amaria. I wanna reiterate our gratitude for all of the hard work our executive council put in this year. Madison, Sean, Jacob, Kennedy, and Michael, I appreciate your commitment to serving Gila and our community and the thankless leadership roles you took on. I only wish we had more time in school together to witness your abilities to work together overcome conflict, and manage Gila's budget in a way that promotes community, connection, and celebration. I have unshakable faith that all of you will further develop your talents and values as you move on to the next step. Thank you once again to the 2019-2020 Executive Council. Thank you, Ms. Doyle. And now I would like to present the senior advisors. Abigail, Dante, and Alesha have been an amazing group of seniors to work with this year each bring a special pizzazz to the senior event that we have had. They are all natural born leaders who I have been proud to work with this past year. It's unfortunate how the year has ended, but you all are going above and beyond to make the senior event still happen. I look forward to the celebration next month and know you will all accomplish so much more in the years to come. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication you put into your senior year. I truly have appreciated your help. Now we have five final important awards to give out tonight to students who have gone above and beyond and represented our school and the community. I would first like to introduce Mr. Ho to present the Take Flight Award. Thanks, Mrs. Moore. The Take Flight Award recognizes students who demonstrate persistence, academic achievement, and good citizenship. The winner of the award this year has demonstrated persistence in all that she does, taking AP courses for the last two years, putting in many long hours of studying, participating in sports, and more. She's a scholar, an athlete, and a friend to many on campus. Her drive to succeed and work ethic are gonna take her far. The winner of the award this year is Gabriela Ramirez. Congratulations, Gabby. All the best wishes for your future. I know that you're gonna succeed in all that you do. Now I would like to welcome back Ms. Cervantes to present the Henrietta Lacks Character Award. Thank you, Mr. Hogue, and congratulations to Gabriela Ramirez. Hi, I'm Ms. Cervantes, and I'm here to announce the Character Award for the Counseling Department. The Character Award goes to a student has, who has strong character, great leadership skills, and is an amazing student. We're super proud to announce... Dante Diaz! Congratulations! Yay. Woo! Now I would like to introduce our Scholar Athlete Award. These athletes are students who have maintained excellence in academics, as well as devoting countless hours to participation in sports at their neighborhood high schools. These students represent Gila and their greater community well. I'd like to introduce Holly Schmitz and Kaylee McDonald. Congratulations. Now I would like to introduce our principal, Mrs. Tumulty, to present the final award for the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cervantes. Now I am honored to give the final award of the evening to two outstanding young people. The criteria for the Rise Above Award winners is as follows. Academic effort, good attendance, citizenship, dependability, honesty and integrity, respect for self and others, high academic achievement, 
helpful to others, and involvement in school activities. Every staff member voted on this award and the results were clear. Two names stood out and you could say rose above the rest. The first recipient is Isabel Privatera. Bell Privatera has been a standout of the class of 2020. Bell shines academically, but her passion around service, equality, and the betterment of humankind is what really makes Bell rise above. And the final 2020 Rise Above Award winner is Cassie Micah. Cassie is an amazing student who goes above and beyond in all aspects of her life. On top of her excellence in academics and written communication, Cassie is fair and kind and trustworthy setting a wonderful example for others. Congratulations, Belle and Cassie. And congratulations to all our winners. I am proud to be the principal of a school with so many amazing young people. I know you will go out into the world and do great things. Thank you all for watching. Be safe out there and hopefully we will see you all soon.